Ooh. Hi guys! Oh, I think this is the first time I've streamed live. So Leslie here in Lebanon. Um, place is a bit of a mess, but we, we arrived in Lebanon yesterday um, uh, with my um, kids and my husband so we could visit our Lebanese family, which we haven't done since um, COVID started. So it's been about two years. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video um, to say thank you so much for those um, that have been interested in Airbnbs in Dubai. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look through my videos. Um, if I'll try and put a link in the description to a webinar uh, I hosted. Um, not I hosted, but I gave a webinar uh, a few days ago uh, before Christmas on how to start an Airbnb in Dubai. Um, as um, I've mentioned, uh, for those that don't know me, I lived there for 10 years previously, so I have done the subleasing model there as well. And um, we currently have a handful of units in Dubai. We're looking to expand this year because business is going rather well there. Um, a, a, a rather better than our UK units, but because our occupancy rates have been quite high and also um, we haven't had a massive surcharge on the electricity, the utility bills. So in UK, we operate in Cambridge. We've literally triple, seen tr our bills triple, which is takes a quite a substantial amount off your profit margin. So that is not so good. Um, but those that reached out, I am, um, just to let you guys know, I haven't forgotten about you. I've been getting lots of messages through different sources, including my Instagram, and my Facebook. So for those that want to get in touch with me, the best way is probably to add me, which is Leslie Tao um, on Facebook and send me a message through Facebook Messenger because I'm more active there. If you're reaching me through Instagram, that's fine, but I might be a little bit delayed in getting back to you. So thanks for all your interest um, in how to start an Airbnb in Dubai. It's been really quite interesting, the kind of messages I'm getting through. Quite a few are from established um, short-term rental operators already who might be looking to um, expand a branch in Dubai. And also thank you guys for reaching out who are in the Dubai market already and I seem to be struggling a little bit. Um, there's a few reasons for that, but I will discuss that on another on another webinar maybe. So we have um, we can look at it in a bit more detail of why um, certain certain units are not booking out um, as much as you hoped. Yeah, so that's all fine. Do let me know, guys, if you have any more questions about Dubai. There was a, um, a question concerning company setup, which I spoke about on the webinar, and um, I had made an error on that. Um, but I'm not going to correct it in this short video, but I'll do a little bit more a session on sort of company setup um, in a bit more detail in a next session. Um, just let me know so I can create some more content as well that you would find useful, what you want to learn about. And sorry this place is a little bit messy because I've got two young children here, yeah, but I want to show you, or you can see it from the background. So we've got two bedrooms here. Um, in the Middle East, you've got something called a maid's room. So usually they have the um, uh, Middle Eastern fa big families usually have a house helper, like my, my mother-in-law has one. And there's a spare room and it's en suite as well, I think. Let me have a look. We've, I can't open the bathroom, never mind. We've just put our luggage in here <laughs> instead. Um, this, um, and currently I'm in a city called Brumana. So Brunmana, which is a mountain um, area in Lebanon, we should come here when we visit. We'll let the kitchen area behind. Ooh. And my husband, Mr. Yeah. Garabia, in the background. And yeah, Derek, I, 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 oh, I think he's, let's leave him to it. I think he's hungry. <laughs> We're waiting for a pickup from my brother-in-law at the moment. I think he's been a bit late. But never mind. All right, so let me know if you have any more questions that I can answer um, or if I can help. It's always good to see what people are doing. And obviously, if I can give some tips, that's also cool because I want everyone to do well. There's no reason why we shouldn't, um, especially if you're in Dubai or trying to get into it. It's a very good market there. All right, guys, so I'm checking out. And those that have DM'd me, I'm getting back to you shortly, but I have seen your messages and I'm getting through them now. So I will most likely be in touch and most likely book a video call in just to try and understand um, whether what you're up to or you can, if you are interested in one of our deals that we've got going, um, sorry, that we are 
doing in Dubai, so property deals. I can talk to you in a bit more detail about that as well. All right, Leslie here, and I'm checking out. Bye. Yep. Hold on. Sorry, guys, I'm still live. I'm just seeing how I can check out of here. Do -do. Hello.